Personally, when we're doing these kind of things, I like to feel that there's a reason why certain things are the way they are and there's a narrative to the story that makes sense and this kind of thing. And it, with the equipment we're using, it also makes sense. Panasonic obviously got this phenomenal range of um, kit out now. They're Japanese. The car we've got from Lexus is Japanese. The quality of the engineering, the technical capabilities, there's a kind of degree of synergy there that makes some sense. So I, I imagine any director would say the same thing. Uh, every shoot is challenging. Uh, for us on this one, uh, the temperature is cold at the minute. It's February. It's uh, dark because we're shooting at night. Um, so as ever, there are things that you've got to overcome, be frankly, before you even get started. The main reason um, I chose the H for this shoot was been using it for a while now. I was previously using the S1. It's a really, really nice cinematic looking camera. When it comes to lenses, a few on a few shoots now, I've used the uh, the Sigma Cine Primes, and they just they just blow me away. They're they're super fast, but they're not overly shot. They give that cinematic look um, that a lot of lenses nowadays just don't tend to give you. What I like about using Ninja 5, I always like a top monitor. I always prefer it to an EVF. I like seeing, maybe my eyes are going, but I like seeing what I'm doing. I also like the waveforms and the peaking and to be able to toggle through the LUTs. Occasionally we're using um, HLG, which is hybrid log gamma, as well as V-log. Um, and it works perfectly with the Ninja 5 uh, because it's a HDR screen. You can see the whole dynamic range from the blackest blacks to the, to the to the brightest highlights. When it comes down to the BTS shooting here, and whereas Lee is on the S1H, we felt that it would be good to put a slightly different look and an emphasis on the BTS films and keep them nice and sharp and crisp. So the S1 is a perfect choice for that. When it comes to lenses, I'm primarily using the Panasonic Zone S Pro series, which are really nice and sharp, along with an MC21 adapter with the Sigma Art lenses for the primes in 24, 50 and 85 mil. One thing I really like about the S1 combo with the actual Ninja 5 is its form factor. It's neat and compact and really suits my style of shooting. Roger Deakins is famous for, for having this ring light on set um, and I got inspiration for that and basically I put some metal escutcheon plates on a wooden ring that my wife actually manufactured, she's a carpenter and you can stick the lights on there magnetically and it gives you a wireless ring that's why we nicknamed it Roger's Ring um, and it just meant when we did the Ronin shots Someone can follow alongside wirelessly or I can shoot through the ring itself and we haven't got any need to plug into generators. On this uh, shoot, I've been really keen to use the autofocus whilst using the Ronin-S. We've used Face Detect, 
Uh, we've used it on quite a few shots now and it's working really well, even in the low light. I've been quite surprised how well it's performed because the conditions aren't perfect for it at all, um, but it's done really well. Look at them red lights in the lift, they really set it off. Type of shots I'm planning on getting with this rig is some rear tracking of the car. I prefer low down angles because it makes the car look nicer and it makes it look faster. I'm going to put the Ronin S on it and then we've got a gimbal on the isolation platform that's remote controlled from inside the van. The good thing about this rig is it doesn't take too long, maybe 10 15 minutes to transfer it from the rear to the front. So when you're doing front forward, front facing tracking, always make sure you've got a good UV filter on the front, because um, the last thing you want is a stone going through your lens. We've got flickering on the on the lights around the headboard. It's due to uh, the light fittings. Okay, let me just use the uh, synchro scan and dial in a different frequency. There, it's gone. We're trying to just get a shot of the actor with the cladding on the, the side of this car park in Salford. Uh, but the only bit I'm interested in is the top half, not the meshing that hides some cars here. But unfortunately you point a, a, a lens towards the sky when it's raining and uh, it gets wet. Well I can say it's a good job that the uh, S1 and the S1H is a weatherproof anyway. Back into the fairly inclement conditions now. It looks like they're performing really well. Well, it's 6 a.m. We're just packing away, and um, we just had an email to say that we've got the firm raw firmware for the S1H and the Atomos Ninja 5 um, that gives it 5.9K raw. So I'm just quickly unpacking and just going to try and grab a few shots before the sun comes up.
and really impressed with how much I can push and pull the log footage in the grade. And the raw footage is just even better. You can really, really dig in in the blacks and pull back the highlights. And the colors, you can really, really shift around. In summary, um, the kit obviously has worked perfectly. Uh, the car from Lexus, uh, amazing. And the kit includes obviously the screens from Atmos and the cameras from Panasonic. Uh, everything has been flawless and it's just made the job a doddle to be honest.